my officials welcome back to a whole new video welcome if you're new if you are new here welcome to my channel welcome to officially michelle family and as you guys can see i'm sitting down in my kitchen because i'm going to be speaking to you guys about this cabbage soup diet that i did now i just want to make a disclaimer that i am not a doctor i am not a nutritionist i am not a all of the things that people like to come for people for i'm not any of those things so with all of that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how I lost some weight, some very quick weight while on this diet, then stay tuned for the video. So I did the cabbage soup diet and I got all of the information from Divas Can Cook. I will leave her website here on the screen. I will also leave it in the description box below. I will leave a link to the diet and everything in my description box below if you guys are interested. So first things first, I did come across this diet a couple years ago on Pinterest because of course I was on a weight loss journey. I am always on a weight loss journey before. If I'm being honest um, but no I was on a weight loss journey at that time I had put on a lot a lot of weight and I wanted to lose some weight really quickly and so I decided to jump on the cabbage soup diet now of course at that time I did not have a YouTube channel or anything like that and the diet really did work my colleagues at the time also did the diet with me and we did lose weight um, but it was a very 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 difficult diet so with that being said, I think what we did while we were on the diet, we did the Divas Can Cook version of the cabbage soup diet. So there are two versions of the cabbage soup diet. I think there's a version where you only have cabbage soup and then there is a version, this version, which I will put up on the screen. There's this version of the diet, which I will put here on the screen. And this version consists of fruits, vegetables, potato and protein so those are the four things or oh, and yogurt and milk so those are the five things that you can eat while you are actually on the diet the diet though um it says not to use starchy vegetables so you have to cross out any starchy vegetables so you can't eat starchy vegetables while you're on the diet you obviously can't eat sweets while you're on the diet you're not supposed to be drinking while you're on the diet for you to see maximum results you don't want to snack while you're on the diet and i actually won't recommend eating nuts while you're on the diet as well i will get into that later and why i don't recommend it so there is the seven day version of the diet so i started the diet on monday and i weighed in um with the diet on monday at 181 pounds actually guys if i'm being frank and if i'm being honest first i weighed in at 182 then i was like no there's no way i'm 182 and then i re-weighed in at 181 and i was like i'm gonna go with the 181 because it's the second Time I weighed right after the first time I weighed. So I'm about 182, 181. So that is what I weighed in at. I did know that I had on weight, but I did not know I hit the one the 80s, which is really, really big for really, really big for me. I thought I was just up like at 179 or something like that. I did not know I tipped over into the 80s, which I was like, okay, definitely I need to get my behind on this diet. I also felt funny in my clothes. My clothes to me did not fit how I wanted them to fit. Like it just wasn't doing, like my clothes just wasn't fitting how I wanted it to fit. And my tummy area and my back area, that is where I put on most of my weight. And I felt like I was just looking really big like why I was I looking this big so I was like you know what I'm definitely gonna go on this journey now like I said earlier the journey is a seven day journey you do have an option to choose only the diet or you can choose the divas can cook option which you're incorporating fruits veggies meat into the diet at certain days in the diet now I need to continue to say I am not a doctor I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that so if you do the diet and something happens, please, I am not taking responsibility. Do not come for me. I am just sharing with you guys what I have done to lose weight quickly. Another thing, when you go on these quick fix diets, they, the fastest you lose the weight is the fastest you put back on the weight. So it's up to you at the end of the diet, when you do lose weight, what you're gonna do with the results that you would have lost 
because you're gonna lose weight on this diet like even if it's a pound you're gonna lose weight on this diet like the diet just that's just what the diet is you're gonna lose weight on the diet and so when you come off of the diet I think it's very important as to how you're gonna eat because you will put it back on the fast the same way you lost it is the same way you're gonna put it back on so I just needed to say that about the diet now the cabbage soup which is the most important part which is the actual diet the cabbage soup consists of celery carrots um, cabbage of course and you're supposed to put tomatoes in the diet my cabbage soup as you guys can see on the screen it doesn't have any tomatoes in there because I'm allergic to tomatoes so I wasn't able to put tomatoes in it but it didn't taste badly it didn't taste great and it didn't taste bad so that is basically what I ate for about five days out of the diet I'm gonna be honest with you I only ate that soup that I made five days out of the diet and I obviously ate it in collaboration with the fruits on days that I could eat fruits um, veggies on days that I could eat veggies a potato which was one out of the week on days that I could eat the potato and then I also ate the soup with um, my greens and my proteins and you know whatever the diet decide whatever day it was for me to do certain things that is how I follow the diet to the T now in the diet I weighed out when I ended the diet I weighed out first I weighed out 175 0.8 and then I'm like okay let me go back on the scale and then I weighed out at 176 which when you think about it that is about a six to seven pound of weight loss um and losing six to seven pounds in seven days it's a lot of weight to lose but I am not mad at it at all my back fat went down my tummy fat went down so I was not mad at that at all um and so I'm going to continue eating clean now that I've come off of this journey one of the, the one of the symptoms that you get while you're on the journey though you feel very very tired very very tired and although some persons say to work out on it I don't know if I would recommend you working out on it because you're only eating soup with no meat um, and veggies or fruits and majority of the times for the first four days of the diet you are not eating any sort of meat so there is nothing to hold you it's only for the first four days of the diet you're not eating any meat you're not eating anything to hold you and of course on the fifth on the fifth and the sixth day you have meat but on the seventh day you don't have no meat so you're eating this diet you're eating this on only two days out of the seven day period you're allowed to eat meat so you will lose weight it's something that it's inevitable you will lose the weight but it's something that you just have to be mindful of if you want to work out i would recommend maybe doing light walks um that was something that i wanted to do while i was on the diet but i did not do i did cheat on the diet as well i had wine on the diet i had um cinnabon on the diet i had nuts on the diet so i feel like if you want to max out the diet do not do not do what I did. Stick solely to diet. That's all I have to say. Um, but overall, I'm very, very happy. I lost about six pounds while in a week. I love that for me. And like I said, I'm going to continue um, eating healthy and eating along that healthy um, life. Um, eating my fruits, eating my veggies, and eating my protein. That is basically what my new diet is going to consist of. I do want to make the cabbage soup, but I do want to put meat in the cabbage soup. So I think I'm probably going to do that next um, and see if that if I get the same um, progress in reference to my weight loss. And then, of course, now that I have actually meat in the soup, I will definitely be doing a little bit of working out. Um, even if it's not going walking, it's actually maybe working out in my apartment, doing some abs, doing some jumping jacks, doing something to keep my body active. So yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys um, my cabbage soup diet journey. Um, it wasn't easy. It was a very hard journey because your body is literally getting rid of all of that starchy stuff all of the cravings and that can be very very hard but i would definitely recommend if you're going on vacation maybe and you want a quick fix this diet this is the diet to have
this is the diet to do because one of the things I really like about the diet you get to eat on the diet it's not like it's saying not to eat and you're gonna starve yourself whatever you're hungry you're supposed to eat the soup but that is basically what I wanted to share with you guys I wanted to share with you guys my weight loss journey while I was on the diet um, again I will definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a quick fix diet that the cabbage soup diet is definitely something I would recommend people have lost up, and up to 10 pounds off of the diet um, I also think it, it does it deals with it do, I also think it goes with how strict you are on the diet and of course if you do the cabbage only diet you're definitely gonna lose a lot of weight but yeah but I just wanted to come on and share that with you because I because I share part of my life with you and if it is that I have subscribers that are struggling to lose weight and would like to have something to jumpstart I felt like this could be something that you do so yeah so i will talk to you guys in my next upload thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon if you have any further questions on the diet outside of what all of the information i'm gonna give i'm gonna put the recipe as well in my description box below if you guys just want to do it um outside of that you guys can dm me or we can have a conversation in my comments don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you made it to the end of this video and i'll talk to you guys in my next upload so talk to you guys soon Bye.